Hello! Today we are going to talk about suffixes to form verbs. As you've already learned, verbs have traditionally been defined as words that show actions or states of being. Look at the following examples. Jack drove all the way to New York. Drove shows an action. Jack seemed happy in New York. Seemed shows state of being. Well, often suffixes signify that a word is a verb. For example, these suffixes. They show that a word is a verb. Look at the following verbs. To intensify, to verify, to characterize, to realize, to separate, to integrate, to sweeten, to deepen. As you know, the base form of a verb is the infinitive, to plus verb, to write, to talk, to buy, to go. Four suffixes added to a verb's base create all forms of a verb used in all tenses. S. Creates third person singular present tense. Example. He talks. Ing. Creates the present participle used with be. Example. He is talking. ED. Creates the simple past. Example. He talked. EN. Creates the past participle used with have. Example. He has chosen. Many verbs in English are irregular. As a result, they are ED and or EN endings may not follow any obvious pattern. OK, let's consider the common verb building suffixes. Listen, read and repeat the examples. Examples To allocate, abbreviate, accommodate, evocate, collaborate, educate, incorporate, deviate, exaggerate, integrate. 2. To simplify, fortify, beautify, amplify, verify. 3. To familiarize, to make something familiar to someone. Emphasize, mobilize, analyze, realize, Penalize, memorize. Okay, I hope you follow along the rule and now it's time to practice. Let's build the verbs using the suffixes. First, guess the word in question, then add a suffix to make it a verb. You compliment someone on this when you visit his house for the first time. There is a statue of this on Ellis Island off New York City. This is the I in I see. All humans should have this to make them worthy of respect. The end of something. A 
a person who writes reviews of books, movies and performances. Well done! Now let me explain you some difficult suffixes of verbs. The suffixes i, z, e or i, s, e have the same pronunciation but are spelled differently. They present the most difficulty for English language learners. In British English, many of such verbs have two variants of spelling. For example, organize, recognize, normalize. In American English, such verbs are usually spelled with the suffix i, z, e. Did you know that in most of the verbs the ise is not a suffix but part of the root? Look at the following list of verbs and guess which one verb has the suffix ise. Advertise, advise, comprise, exercise, rise, arise, revise, Merchandise, supervise, surprise. Did you manage to guess the verb with the suffix ise? Yes, the answer is advertise. Most of these verbs are very common. I recommend you to learn them by heart. Okay, the next task I prepared for you looks at common suffixes to form verbs. Choose the best suffix and complete the sentence. Pay attention to spelling and tenses. Choose from one of the endings to create a verb and complete the sentence. He told her that he was her problem but couldn't do anything to help. Sympathized. My belt feels a bit tight after that huge lunge. I think I'll have to eat a little. Loosen. She was severely by the long illness she had. Weakened. There are many different ways to areas of English grammar. Classify. If you are really sorry for what you've said, you won't mind apologizing. There is no need to my work. I'm trying as hard as I can. Criticize. The pain in his back as soon as he took the medication. Lessened. Everybody was by the news of the earthquake. Horrified. Excellent. Well, that's all for today about the common verb building suffixes. I liked your work very much. Goodbye and good luck in your English studies.